All right, guys, so I am kicking it at the RV tonight, just kind of cleaning up some things, getting ready to, uh, well, clean up some more things tomorrow. <laughs> I have a lot of things to get done in here, and I actually have some time to come down here tonight, kind of get some of it organized, get rid of some trash. So, one thing that I have here at the RV is all these DVDs that I've bought recently, most of them actually. I have some of them at home. I think I got about seven or eight at home. Um, because I've been watching them, but I have these here because I was watching them here and a lot of people have said They would love to see a video of all of the DVDs I got recently being that I've been running around to the Goodwills and the Dollar Generals and the Dollar Trees and all those places looking for the awesome DVDs So I thought that's what I would do tonight. So let's go ahead and start with the DVDs and then we'll move on to the blu-rays the first one I have here is Fantastic Mr. Fox this movie is awesome. It's been a while since I've seen it, but George Clooney and Meryl Streep are in this. Uh, their voices, at least, you know, it's it's an animated movie. I don't know if it's uh, stop motion or how they did it, really. I believe it's stop motion. It's based on a book by Roald Dahl. He's the same guy who did uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And basic, it's kind of like a heist movie you know, only with these animated characters. So it's really good, it's funny, and uh, I honestly can't wait to watch it again. I've been wanting to get this one for a while. Fantastic Mr. Fox. The next one is Clue the Movie. This one is also hilarious. This one is from the 80s. It's based on the board game Clue. It has most of the characters, if not all, uh, Colonel Mustard, Miss Scarlet, Mrs. White, uh, the butler, um, and basically there's a murder and then it's kind of like a whodunit and then somebody else gets murdered and it's it's crazy They're all running around just going nuts trying to figure out who did this and running around this giant mansion So um awesomely hilarious movie clue. You got to get it. I'm so glad that I found this one I think I paid a buck for it at Goodwill um, Star Paws. <laughs> I think I got this one at the Dollar General and I just couldn't turn away from it um, it's basically Star Wars with cats and dogs. I mean, at least that's how it looks. You can see it's still in the plastic there. It's brand new. I haven't opened it yet, but I couldn't resist. I love corny stuff like this and, uh, and kids movies. It just kind of, kids movies let you remember not to take life so seriously and to just have fun and let loose sometimes. And that's exactly what we need right now, especially in this crazy chaotic time with all this COVID and everything else that's going on. So yeah, <laughs> Star Paws, Cats and Dogs on a Galactic Adventure. Five bucks, I think I got that at the Dollar General. Dirty Dancing, 20th anniversary. I got this one at the Goodwill. I think I paid a buck for it. I'm pretty sure all their DVDs are a dollar. And look, it's brand new too. It still has the plastic on it. I love Dirty Dancing, it's an awesome movie. I've seen it about a billion and a half times, and I can see it another billion and a half, and it'll never get old. This is really cool, too. It's a two-disc set. You got the movie on one disc, and then the other disc is all extras, outtakes and behind the scenes and all kinds of stuff like that. That's what I love about DVDs compared to uh, Blu-rays. You know, when they first started putting out DVDs, they squashed as much stuff onto it as they possibly could, and you just don't see that a lot with, with Blu-rays now. The Terminator. This is one that I got over at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. If you have not seen The Terminator, where have you been? <laughs> the Terminator is so awesome. I actually bought T2 on 4K recently, only because I found it on Amazon for $7.50 with free shipping for the 4K version. I'm so excited to watch it. But this is just the regular DVD of the first one, and it is so good. I can watch this show a million times. The cover art is pretty cool, too. Look at that. Like, you can see inside that he's a cyborg. Pretty cool. Okay, next we got the Smurfs. I also got this over at the Dollar Tree for a buck. This is Season 1, Volume 1, and uh, I don't even know what's on this yet, but there's 19 episodes on two discs. I'm excited to just be able to put this in sometime when I'm just kicking back and chilling, you know, maybe editing or something and have that on the TV or else on Saturday mornings. You know, I grew up with cartoons on Saturday mornings and one of them was the Smurfs. 
So it would be cool to sit here with a big bowl of Cap'n Crunch Crunch Berries and just put this in and enjoy my Saturday morning. This is one I was really, really excited to find. I got this at the Goodwill, uh, Mr. Toad and Ichabod. Ichabod Crane, it is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow done by Walt Disney. This is great, my very favorite version of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. You know, all Disney stuff is awesome and it's hilarious. It's narrated and the songs are sung by um, Bing Crosby. When the spooks have a midnight jamboree. Yeah, you gotta get this, guys, if you have not seen it. Totally awesome, and I think I paid a buck for that one. 1408 with John Cusack and uh, Samuel L. Jackson. I believe I saw this. 1408 is the number of an apartment, and this is a thriller. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's the full screen edition, and a lot of people ask me why I don't like full screen. Well, I don't like full screen because that TV up there is a full screen, and that one is a wide screen. So, in order for this movie to look right, you have to watch it on the old CRT TV, which I don't have a problem. I love VHS, I collect VHS, until I bought my RV. Goodbye, videotapes. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, a full screen DVD on a wide screen TV it's just, it's just weird, you know, you remember when you used to get videos that were called Letterbox and, and it had the two black bars, one on the top, one on the bottom, to make it a widescreen on that old style TV? And everybody was like, I hate the black bars. Well, this is like the opposite. To watch a full screen video on a widescreen TV gives you black bars along the sides instead of the top. And that, I, I just can't handle that. I can't stand it. But it is a good movie. Um, this is one that I have not seen, but I could not turn away from it. Lewis and the Aliens. Look at this. <laughs> That's an awesome looking kids movie. It's about aliens. Um, let me see if I can read this here. Oh crap, we got a sticker over it. 12 year old Lewis does his best to take care of the house and lead a normal life. Unfortunately, the neglect from his father drags Lewis' life down and he's at risk of being taken away and sent off to a boarding school. When a group of three awkward aliens are drawn to Earth after watching too much of the home shopping network, what the heck, they inevitably run into Lewis. Maybe it's Louise, I don't know. Feeling like he's finally found a true family, Lewis dedicates himself to helping them find their way home so he can also escape his own fate in this wild and wacky out of this world adventure. I mean, it sounds like a totally fun movie, guys. It's a kid's movie, but I'm really looking forward to watching this. Will Forte and Leah Thompson do the uh, the voices in there. Look how fun that looks. All right, this was another awesome one I found at the Dollar Tree for one buck. Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Look at that. The Dream Master. I love Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Freddy Krueger is probably my favorite horror movie killer. Um, I mean, I love Michael Myers, I love Chucky, but I don't know, man, Freddy Krueger just, he just does it for me. <laughs> the first time I saw Nightmare on Elm Street 1, I was so scared to death. It was so groundbreaking and awesome. And uh, I even remember calling the, the, the Freddy Krueger hotline and then there was also a show on TV, a series called Freddy's Nightmares, and that got pretty silly, but it was totally awesome and it was really fun to watch. So, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, one dollar at the Dollar Tree. Uh, this one is The Aviators. I have not seen this, but again, it's a kid's movie, uh, and, and I just love stuff like this. Like I said, it lets you escape from reality, reminds you not to take life so seriously all the time. Uh, it looks like Brad Garrett, he was the big brother on Everybody Loves Raymond. He lends his voice to this show. Now I'm talking like I'm reading it. <laughs> but Brad Garrett's voice and Jeff, Jeff Foxworthy. So this ought to be pretty good. With those two involved, I can't imagine it's not great. The Aviators. Okay, next we got Get Shorty, John Travolta. We got uh, Gene Hackman, Rene Russo, Danny DeVito in this. Basically a mob movie. Been a while since I've seen it, but it's pretty good. Crave. I don't know what this is about. I've never seen it, 
but it has Edward Furlong in it, and I really like Edward Furlong. He's a great actor. It's too bad that he got into drugs and partying and all that crap and kind of ruined his career. But um, this is brand new. It's not been open yet. And I am excited to pop this in some night and really see uh, how he does in this movie. The next one I got is Kiss of the Damned. And I've not seen this one either, but it's a vampire movie. Look at that. So, um, I don't know if it'll be good or not. But like I said, it's a vampire movie, and it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so it was well worth the shot. IT with Pierce Brosnan. This was another one I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Mike Reagan is a successful self-made man who has it all. A gorgeous wife, a beautiful teenage daughter, and a sleek, state-of-the-art smart home but he soon finds himself in a deadly high-stakes game of cat and mouse, and his IT consultant starts using his skills to stalk Mike's daughter and endanger his family. Hmm, seems pretty cool. That ought to be a pretty good one. Jack the Giant Slayer. I got this one because, again, it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and it looks like just a fun popcorn movie. Probably not the best movie ever, but, uh, you know, a good one for a Saturday night snack in a movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Look at that, guys. One dollar at the Dollar Tree. I've seen all three of these. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched this one. Because I usually sit down and I'm like, yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle marathon. And then uh, I watch, like, the first one and I never move on to the next ones. But I think I have all three of them on VHS even. Or had them. Maybe I got rid of those already. I don't know. But I thought it was pretty cool that I found that for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, part three. The Lego Movie, one dollar at the Dollar Tree. This was a really good find. Um, I think we watched this for one of my kids' birthdays. It may even have been my birthday. I don't remember. But it was pretty good. I mean, it's Legos. You can't go wrong with that. And it was just a really fun movie. So, yeah, Lego movie, dollar at the Dollar Tree. Robocop, and this is the new one. I have not seen this yet, but again, it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So it was worth the chance. That's another one I'll stick in some night when I'm editing or something. Kind of excited to see it. I mean, I love the original. And, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Robocop. The Young Messiah. I forgot that I bought this one. Dollar at the Dollar Tree. Uh, let's see. Inspired by scripture and rooted in history, the Young Messiah imagines a year in the boyhood of Jesus. That ought to be pretty interesting. A lot of times these, uh, these Hollywood movies don't really stick to the scripture. You know, they veer off to make it more Hollywood. But um, it'll be interesting to see what, uh, how they handle that one. Okay, this one's called And So It Goes. I have not seen this one either, but Michael Douglas and Diane Keaton, you can't go wrong with them. They're both great actors. This is a, uh, a Rob Reiner movie, so again, you know, Rob Reiner's awesome. You can't go wrong with him. Limitless. I love this movie. It gets me so pumped up to get things done, to get productive. Um, if you haven't seen it, basically there's a new drug that's not on the market yet. It's a secret drug. And you take one of these pills, and it is just like pure adrenaline. It opens up your whole brain, and you start just firing on every end. And uh, it's just, it's really crazy. It really gets me pumped up, like I said. Really, really good movie. Bradley Cooper, um, Robert De Niro is in this as well. Awesome movie, Limitless. And then I have two left here, and they kind of go hand in hand. We got God's Not Dead and God's Not Dead Part 2. I haven't seen either of these, but I'm looking forward to them. Special appearances by Newsboys, Willie, and Corey Robertson. Yep, really looking forward to seeing these guys. And these were put out by a company called Pure Flix, which is uh, like a Christian um, video movie studio. So whereas, like I just said, that Hollywood likes to Hollywood up their movies, you know, if they do a movie about the Bible or something, um, these guys, uh, they're more focused on the actual scripture in the Bible. So these should be pretty good movies. So that's it, guys. That's uh, what I've got recently. I think I said I have like seven or eight more at home. Um, we'll do another video like this later on because I will be picking up more DVDs. 
At first, I was going through all my DVDs and I was downsizing, getting rid of things because I'm going to be moving into here. But movies are something I absolutely love. And it's something that I think, you know, while I'm on the road, if I'm like boondocking in a Walmart parking lot, I'm going to want to put in a movie, you know? Plus, physical media doesn't fail. I mean, if I'm sitting here and I'm trying to watch Netflix or something, I have to have a good internet connection. And I have a good internet with a, a place called Nomad Internet. I also have Spectrum for my phone, which gives me a hot spot. Um, but even just sitting right here close to the city when I'm trying to watch Netflix on those, it kind of starts going in and out sometimes, gives me a blurry picture. I just want to be able to put in a DVD and have no problem whatsoever. All I have to have is electricity and my TV and DVD player. So yeah, that's what kind of got me going again with buying up DVDs instead of getting rid of them. <laughs> so, all right guys, let me know if you like this kind of video. We'll keep them coming. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be on the hunt for more DVDs, so stick around.